Okay, in this um, tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make a uh, gun uh, appear in your level instead of that awful blue gun that we have as default. So for this here, I went onto the marketplace and I downloaded the prototype web uh, package. You can um, download that from our Google Classroom uh, if you're a student at the college. Uh, just make sure that you place it into your content browser or your content folder in your project folder in Unreal. Make sure as well that it is just a single prototype folder so you don't have a prototype web folder and then inside that is another prototype web folder. Make sure you only have one of those. Otherwise, the um, the connections between materials and textures and blueprints and everything will be all messed up inside Unreal 4. Um, so to get us started off uh, for that, um, we're going to go into this prototype web folder and we're going to select one of our um, skeletal meshes, okay, which is our assault rifle. So the first one there, prototype assault rifle. We're going to right click that. So we're going to right click that and we're going to create blueprint using. Okay, so I've already done that. Um, there we go, I've done it for my sniper rifle. <coughs> it's BP. So all you have to do is create a blueprint out of that. It'll bring this in as a component. You'll not have to do anything else, okay? Uh, there's no uh, changes to the graph editor or anything like that or the construction script. Uh, everything stays the same. So once you have that done, we're going to move over to this characters folder, okay? And in here, uh, we're going to have a hero FPP. So I've got mine set up already and I'll just tell you what I've done. So initially what we had here was, um, if I can just move this over. Initially what we had here was a blue gun attached to these blue arms. Okay, so you can see it there. I'm just going to turn off my other rifle. So I'm just going to delete that. So what we initially had to do was, in the mesh tab, uh, was to get rid of this gun. Now, it's actually attached to the hands. Luckily, it comes in two different materials. So if I highlight that there, you can see it's highlighting this gun. So what I did was, I um, went ahead and I made a clear material. Very, very simple. So I made a material. I made it translucent down there. Just make sure that you've selected your material. I made a translucent and then I put a one vector into a pass and I made that zero so it's completely transparent. Then all I did was drag and drop that into this element one. It makes the gun disappear. So what we have to do is we have to attach a socket to this hand bone so that we can then attach a gun to that socket. So if we go to the skeleton tab, scroll down to the bottom, we've got a B right weapon, okay, and on that there if we right click we can add a socket. I'm just going to call this B underscore rifle. And in that there we can right click and we can add a preview asset. So I'm going to go um, actually mine is a sniper rifle so I'm going to choose a sniper rifle prototype sniper rifle. And you can see our guns in there. Now what we can do is we can grab the socket down here and we can rotate it into place um, and move it into place. We can't scale it but we can move it and rotate it. Now the problem with that is we don't know what it's going to look like uh, when the game's running. So if we go to this animation tab we can double click on one of these animations and you see it's going to play that. All we have to do is when it's playing just pause it. Go back to our skeleton. Make sure that we have our socket selected to be underscore rifle and then place the gun into the hands. It just means that we've got a really good reference of what it's going to look like. Okay when it's in game. And I'm just going to raise it up a bit. Okay. So that seems fine. So once you've got that there, just save it. And that's us done in this part. The next part is we've got to go to our blueprints and open up my character. Okay. So the first part we're going to do is find our event begin play. Uh, you might have a sequence coming out of it. If you don't, just pull out and type in sequence. If you do, we're just going to add a pin, okay? And from that there, we're going to search for attach to. Now, the attach to that we want to get isn't available if you have context sensitive on, okay? So if you turn that off, 
you can see that there's a just a single attached to. It's not attached actor to actor or anything like that. It's just attached to. And that's the one that we're going to use. Back to our components tab. What we've got to do is we've got to add a component. It's down at the bottom and it's called child actor. So I've just named my child actor rifle. And in that there, there's a child actor component. And all you have to do is search for that blueprint that you made for your weapon. Okay, so mine's is a sniper rifle, yours might be a assault rifle. So if I type in sniper, you can see my sniper rifle BP pops up. Okay, so just make sure you've made a blueprint of your gun. And that will be in your components and it will sit uh, somewhere like that there. It doesn't matter where it's sitting at the minute because at the start of level, remember, we're going to attach it to our socket in our hand. So we're going to go back to our graph editor. All right. So now we've got this attached to, we need a target and we need a parent. Okay. So our target is going to be our rifle that we've just made in our component section. So we're going to get that, um, plug it into target. And our parent is going to be our mesh 1P. So we're going to get that and plug it into our parent. Socket name. Remember we named our socket B underscore rifle. It is case sensitive. Okay. So you've got to make sure that you have uh, it named exactly the same as you've named it in your skeleton. And attach type, we're going to snap to target, weld, simulator bodies, and that should be fine. I've done this already uh, up here. I'm just going to delete that pin. <clears throat> so if I press play now, you can see I've got my gun attached to my hand.